Hi and welcome to Harding Studios. If you are new here, make sure to hit the like button now and comment down below with the name of the camera you are using for production. With that out of the way, today we will look at the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. This camera has the capabilities of shooting raw footage. Getting started with your Pocket Cinema Camera is as simple as mounting a lens and powering your camera. The Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K uses Micro Four Thirds lenses, and attaching a lens to your camera is the same process for all Pocket Cinema cameras. Begin by removing the protective dust cap. To remove the protective dust cap, hold down the locking button and rotate the cap counterclockwise until it is released. Now let's mount the lens. First step, align the mark on your lens with the mark on the camera mount. Many lenses have a visual indicator, for example a blue, red or white mark. Second step, press the lens mount against the camera mount and twist the lens clockwise until it clicks into place. Please note, to remove the lens, hold down the locking button, rotate the lens counterclockwise until its mark indicator reaches the 10 o'clock position on micro four thirds lens or 12 o'clock for electrofocus lens. Now that you've attached the lens, you will need to supply power to your camera. Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro can be powered by inserting an NPF 570 battery, and Pocket Cinema Camera 6K in 4K can be powered by inserting an LPE6 battery. You also have the option of powering your Pocket Cinema Camera from the supplied AC power adapter, or from two NPF 570 batteries, in a Blackmagic battery grip. Inserting a battery and powering your camera. A battery is included with the camera, but if you need additional batteries, they can be purchased from your Blackmagic Decent reseller or from most video or photography equipment stores. First step, on the underside of the camera, press the door release to open the battery door. Second step, with the contacts facing the terminal, insert the battery until you feel a click into place under the locking tab. Please note, to release the battery, push the locking tab towards the front of the camera, and the battery will eject. Third step, close the door to the battery terminal and gently push until it clicks into place. Now push the power switch on the top of your camera to the on position. To turn off the camera, move the power switch to the off position. The battery life for Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera is terrible, thus, using external power source is advisable. Powering your camera with the included power cable, the included 100 to 240 volts AC plug pack, can be used to simultaneously power the camera and charge the internal battery or two batteries if you have a Blackmagic battery grip attached to your camera. The DC power connector locks to the camera so it cannot be accidentally disconnected. First step, open the rubber protector on the left side of your camera and rotate the locking the DC power connector so that it lines up with the recess on the top of the 12 volts DC power input. Gently push the connector into the input until it clicks. Second step, connect the 12 volts DC adapter plug to your mains power socket. Please note, to unplug the connector, pull the sheath away from the connector and remove the connector from the input. Important information of the day. If you have both external and battery power connected, only external power is used. If you remove external power while a charged battery is connected, your camera switches to battery power without interruption. In the next video we will be looking at the storage of the camera. Thank you for watching and make sure to watch the next video. Have a nice day and subscribe.